everyone learners, I welcome you back. I'm Miss Hanin and I'll be giving you visual art. Let me introduce you to week eight. How do artists use tints and shades in their artwork? Learners, the past weeks, we have talked a lot about shades and different tints. If you look at these three colors, purple, blue, and green, do you remember what are shades and what are tints? What do we add on the color to make the shades and tints? We will be learning during this class about how do artists use tints and shades in their artwork. Central idea for this week is also exploring colors, line, texture, and shapes help create a piece of art. First and second life inquiry, lines and their forms, color in our environment. We will be using two lines this week. We will be using the rave concept movement, as we also can use the key concept form and function. We will understand what is the function of lines and colors in artists artwork. We will use IBLP inquiries as you will be reflecting how do we use lines and colors in an artwork. You will use the ATL skill, creative thinking skills to connect between objects and your ideas to create an art piece. Let me introduce our artist Claude Monet. He is an impressionism artist. As you guys can see, he draws nature. I want you guys to look at his artwork, The Water Lily. I want you to think, what kind of colors did he use? Did he use some values or did he use some tints? Things you'll see during art. This week, we will use the watercolors and the brush to create our artwork. We use a cardboard and also paper tissue for creating our art. I can't wait to see you, KG1 learners.